nine years. Yeah, maybe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's change that gender again and welcome Tanya Roth. Let her hear it, Tanya. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, I feel a little bit self-conscious up here. I, uh, I'm carrying a little bit of extra weight. I just had a baby. Thank you. He's four. Um, <laughs> But we are actually trying to have another baby, uh, mainly so I can have a real excuse for wearing maternity pants. Um, I know it may not look like I'm carrying much extra weight, but what you don't know is that I have four layers of Spanx on right now. Uh, I am 40, so we're kind of in a rush to get pregnant again. Um, in Florida years, uh, I know 40 is more like 20, but... <laughs> In fertility years, I am straight up Jurassic. Yeah, St Spielberg keeps trying to build a theme park around me. <laughs> um, but we had our first child in New York City, so we are trying to find uh, a really good doctor down here because, you know, when you're older, it's, it's really important to have a good doctor uh, when you're trying to get pregnant. Uh, we just actually toured Sarasota Memorial Hospital, and... Uh, that place is amazing. They actually offer what they call birthing suites, um, which are designed to make you feel comfortable and natural. Well, I have been through this once before, and there is nothing about going through, uh, <laughs> excuse me, there is nothing about mind-numbing pain for 43 hours that feels remotely natural. <laughs> I don't even like doing anything that feels good for 43 hours. <laughs> but they do try. Um, they offer these hydrotherapy bathtubs, which, if you don't know, are kind of like jacuzzi tubs on steroids. So according to the brochure, they have 100 jets pulsating water at you from every angle. They will massage your sore muscles, they'll cure your arthritis, and give you an orgasm. <laughs> All at the same time. They also have humongous flat screen TVs, 24-hour uh, room service, and if you upgrade to the penthouse suite, your baby will actually have a custom lullaby composed and serenaded to him by Beyonce. <laughs> so we were sold. Uh, but then the doctor that we really, really like, uh, turns out she only works with M Manatee Memorial Hospital. Um, and nothing against Manatee Memorial, I was actually born there, but it's a little bit more bare bones. Um, for example, Sarasota Memorial offers the hydrotherapy bathtubs. Uh, Manatee Memorial un offers unlimited wet naps. <laughs> At Sarasota Memorial, they have 24-hour room service. Manatee Memorial has 24-hour vending machines. And as far as the penthouse suite at Sarasota, well, at least at Manatee Memorial, if you give them an extra five bucks, they'll throw up a curtain between you and the C-section going on next to you. <laughs> but, um, but then the doctor brought up a really good point. You know, we are older parents and we have to consider the reality of some complications arising. And, uh, you know, Sarasota might offer all of the bells and whistles, but um, if the shit hits the fan, then you really want to be working with a team who's experienced in dealing with crises. And the more I thought about it, the more, you know, I realized she has a really good point. And I thought about that hydrotherapy tub. Well, I've got a jacuzzi bathtub at home. I have used it once in three years. <laughs> right now, it is storage for my shoes. And as far as that flat screen TV, I don't think I'm going to be coherent enough to be following the latest plot twist in Game of Thrones. I don't even watch Game of Thrones. Um, so I realize, you know, maybe we don't really need all that fancy stuff. We have to think about reality, statistics. And statistically speaking, some scary stuff can, you know, can happen. And at Manatee Memorial in Bradenton, uh, we would be in the perfect place if my baby happened to be born with a meth problem. 
I mean, could you... <laughs> could you imagine, like, my kid inside my belly's got a little meth lab going on, and right next to the doctor who's waiting for the placenta to come out, there's a cop between my legs who's waiting to catch the beakers and Sudafed to collect for evidence. <laughs> and instead of a gender reveal party, um, I'm just gonna be anxiously awaiting to find out if I'm gonna have a Walter or a Jesse. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, so for those of you who might not know what a gender reveal party is, because they're kind of new, it's kind of like a baby shower, except the expecting parents um, give the sealed sonogram results to the baker who's gonna secretly ice the cake in the middle with either pink or blue frosting so that uh, everyone can be surprised together at the party when they cut into the cake. But I, I don't really get it. I mean, um, I don't see what's so surprising about the results. Uh, the odds are 50-50. It's either boy, girl, you know, pink or blue. Uh, what I really think would be exciting is if you cut into the cake, it's blue in the middle, you know, everyone's cheering and crying and congratulating you, and then the baker comes back. But this time, he's holding a piece of 20-year-old pink cake with pearls on top. Because it turns out that in his senior year of college, your precious little Billy is going to decide that he is actually a Caitlin. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's my time. Thank you. Tanya Lee Roth!